Hey Edson, it's Mayor Kevin Zahara here with a COVID-19 update on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. As you've likely noticed, we have reduced the number of updates that we are doing uh, due to uh, COVID-19 restrictions starting to ease. The initial emergency is uh, is winding down uh, and there's less information to uh, share with you. So we're doing weekly updates now. You can expect them on Wednesdays. Uh, this week a little different because we did have uh, Council's strategic planning session, uh, which just wrapped up today here at uh, the Galloway Station Museum. So I do want to talk about uh, some things. First of all, great news today. The one active case that we had in the Edson area is now recovered. So we have zero active cases. We have zero active cases in the entire Yellowhead region. And we only had 15 new cases across the province. Right now, we have 334 active cases. Uh, which is very small for a province or a size. So some certainly some good news. And Dr. Dina Hinshaw and Premier Kenny have spoken about uh, starting uh, the reopening of stage two of the economy a little sooner rather than later. So that's good news as well. We don't know when stage three is gonna happen. Uh, something that council talked about today because stage three includes things uh, like reopening Repsol Place and what that's gonna look like. What kind of restrictions are gonna be in place and what kind of facility usage are we gonna have? Are we, uh, are we gonna have hockey season this year? We don't know the answers to those questions. So we talked about that and, and we'll be, make, be making some uh, decisions down the road to ensure that we are uh, reopening our facilities safely when, it's, when the province says we're able to and ensuring we're doing so uh, prudently it's going to take some time in order to uh, make all that happen but uh, we're always uh, making sure that we're following those provincial uh, guidelines and uh, recommendations a um, number of things that we talked about today besides uh, the opening of facilities of course uh, we have had the budget reductions this year those budget reductions continue until the end of the year so you are going to see uh, continued service level reductions uh, for example we have no ball being played at Vision Park right now because organized sport is not allowed so we're not doing maintenance out there right now we are going to be doing some facility upgrades uh, later on this summer uh, but you're not going to see the mowing happening there as you would on a normal season instead those crews are focused on places like uh, Centennial Park and some of our other parks because we do have reduced staff this summer uh, as well as that 0 0.9 schedule uh, later on this year you're gonna see uh, some changes to snow removal for example uh, and it's all in an effort to save that 10% of our operating budget uh, which had allowed us to uh, reduce taxes uh, this year the tax burden this year and it's, uh, and it's gonna allow us to uh, have programs in place for economic recovery uh, later on this year and into 2021-2022 uh, and we talked about strategies around that today uh, with our planning and development department we know that we have some work to do in terms of our land use bylaw uh, it's very cumbersome it's it's sometimes hard to do development in Edson uh, and it's because of some of the processes that are in place so uh, you're gonna see us talk about some red tape reduction over the next uh, number of months uh, removing financial burdens uh, and and hopefully supporting our business community better uh, in order to make sure business happens making sure people get employed and uh, and producing of course tax revenue which is so important we don't have tax revenue we can't uh, provide the programs and services that we are uh, in our community uh, we also talked about uh, ongoing communications and ensuring that we're continuing to com communicate with you on what we're doing and how we're doing it and why we're doing it. And uh, that's really important to uh, to our council uh, and into our administration uh, team. Now, you look behind me, we have Centennial Park here. Normally we have uh, Canada Day celebrations. Unfortunately, that's not happening this year. We're going to have a virtual celebration uh, this year, but we are looking at having a, or hosting a, hopefully an event later on this year when restrictions ease and we can have bigger events uh, with the Great Canadian Barbecue. That's one of the ideas uh, that uh, Community Development uh, is putting forward. Uh, they're also looking at outdoor movie nights and that sort of thing. Uh, we'll have more details on that coming up in the next few weeks and months. Uh, I do want to give a huge shout out to our Community Development team who I think have done a phenomenal job uh, throughout COVID-19 to make sure the community had activities to do virtually. Uh, we had, uh, of course, the stencils out there uh, as well uh, with uh, partnerships with some community organizations on the trail systems. I know the kids enjoyed that. Uh, Eddie's Nutty Challenge, I absolutely love that. And those were all things put on by our community development team. And I just want to say thank you for your hard work uh, regarding that. Uh, we really didn't miss a beat uh, when it came to uh, what was going on during COVID-19. And uh, very proud of uh, the work all of our staff have done across all departments. They have 
uh, certainly um, have uh, have felt the brunt of what's going on with COVID-19 with that 0.9 schedule, um, as well as uh, uh, some of the other things that we had to cut from the budget this year. So I do want to thank them for their contributions. Uh, this is going to continue on until the end of the year, but uh, we will get through it and we'll make our community stronger. And we talked about uh, making sure our, our, our economy, for example, is going to be really resilient through this and stronger because of it uh, in the in future years. Um, so. Uh, that's all I have to say about that right now. We'll have more details as uh, they come to council in the upcoming weeks. Uh, but we're really focused, uh, like I said, on red tape reduction, uh, making sure we're reopening facilities uh, when we, when the province says we're allowed to, making sure we're doing so safely and responsibly, uh, both from a safety point of view and from a financial point of view, and ensuring that uh, our community uh, will be strong for, for the long term. Uh, as I leave you this evening, I want to say a huge shout out to all the grads. Uh, this year, uh, HRH had a wonderful parade. Uh, the parents put that on. Uh, it was great to see so many people out. I know it uh, kind of sucks this year not having your traditional uh, graduation ceremonies, Parkland doing the virtual ceremonies. Uh, so congratulations to all the grads. Thank you to all the parents and teachers uh, that made sure that uh, the grads uh, are, were successful. Uh, and uh, congratulations and a job well done on behalf of myself and uh, Edson Town Council. Uh, before I leave you as well, just a reminder, Galloway Station Museum is reopened. Uh, the library has a program in place as well in which you can get books again um, as we see things are, uh, ease here when it comes to uh, restrictions within our community. Edson, stay safe, be kind to one another, and we'll talk to you next week.